In the 80s, I played Snake on a Zenith terminal connected to the mainframe at my dad's work, and I was hooked. I was so proud of the Child of Light team for how we brought Aurora to life. We had a really big ambition. We wanted to make her seem like she's moving in this liquid, surreal, underwater space. And in 2D, that's hard. We were working back and forth with the animators a lot on her animation. And I think we had her looking really good as she was moving back and forth. But whenever she turned around, we just couldn't get it to look right. And then we had the breakthrough idea of animating her in 3D, even though it's a 2D game, and just rendering her to 2D and putting her in like that. And it worked out really well, and it's really beautiful. And then with the addition of her hair, which is in 2D, so she becomes this combination 3D, 2D character, with the way her hair moves and everything moves like it's underwater, and it, it turned out really well. And I think the reaction from the fans has been great. I think um, we see, like, I see people doing a lot of fan art on Twitter and um, a lot of cosplay, and I think we've really created an iconic character. Right now is a super exciting time to be an AI programmer in the industry. I'm getting to work on really cool stuff, and I think the next 10 years is going to be about innovation in AI. Um, but more than that, I can't imagine any other industry I'd want to work in than video games, because I think this is the future of entertainment. It's the first time we've had interactivity in entertainment. And I think in 50 years we'll be talking not about video games but about many different things that grew out of video games and I want to be a part of that.